I do not believe that if you obey God, you'll be blessed, and if you disobey God, you'll be cursed. Um, now, I do believe there is a blessing that comes with obeying God, but not the same blessing and cursing that is referred to in the Old Testament that a lot of people will turn to to try and guilt you or scare you into serving God and saying that, you know, if you don't give, if you don't read your Bible, if you don't win souls, then you're under the curse of God and God is angry with you and, you know, all that sort of um, thing like that. I do not believe that applies to us as believers and why. Let's turn to, let's sh I'll show you in Galatians 3. But let's read from verse 9. It says, So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. So you're under the curse if you are of the works of the law. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continue, continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Now let me ask you, if we're cursed for disobeying God, then who's blessed? Because the Bible says here that if you, if, you, if, you want to be, if you want to not be cursed, you have to continue in all things. So it, it's sort of like assurance of salvation. You know how people will say, oh, you'll know them by their fruit? And they'll say a good tree bears good fruit and a bad tree bears bad fruit. Well, then my question is, well, who's a good tree? Because I have bad fruit. So if, that's, if, that, if that is meant to be a thought that comforts me and shows me that I am saved, it's not very comforting, right? Because the verse is proving to me that I'm, I'm a bad tree. So it, it can't have anything to do with salvation because salvation has nothing to do with our works. And just here, if the blessing of God is by, is by works, who, who then has the blessing of God? Not me, because I do not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But let's continue. But that no, no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident. Right? So our salvation is not by works, but look, he says, the just shall live by faith. So we don't only uh, are saved by faith, but our standing with God and how we live is by faith. And the law is not of faith. So he's saying, if you are trying to get the blessing of God and the right standing with God by the law, you're not getting it by faith. The law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. So if you want to have a right standing and be blessed with God, by the law, then you need to be doing it. If you're not, you're not going to get the blessing that way. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. Amen to that. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So you see the blessing and the cursing is not by works. The blessing and the cursing is by faith. If you do not believe, you're going to be cursed. And that was, that's what hell is. But if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you have that right standing with God. You're no longer under the curse of the law because Christ was made a curse for us. 